Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm a teacher author and the owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about part two of the five part series on how to achieve math mastery in your classroom to help your students who are a grade level or two behind in math. Where do you start? The goal of math mastery is to teach your students a deeper understanding of math so that they have acquired the fundamental concepts by the end of the school year. What math skills do you want your students to master? Math mastery is a way of teaching math skills to your students in a more meaningful way. Teaching math mastery doesn't have to be stressful or overwhelming. Let's look at teaching hands-on activities for math mastery in your classroom. Math mastery is a teaching approach with five parts. Step one is vocabulary. We talked about that in our last video. Today, we're looking at step two of math mastery, and that is hands-on activities, exploratory math activities with a student-centered approach. Doing hands-on math activities helps students make sense of the math concepts. When students are learning and making sense of a concept, that will deepen their knowledge. Students explore hands-on activities. Before assigning a task, ask yourself, who's doing the learning? Is it the student or is it the teacher? Is it a student-centered activity? Is it a teacher activity or a student activity? Hands-on activities are student-centered and the student is learning through the exploring process. It comes down to this. Do you teach with hands-on math activities? Do you use physical math activities? Do you use writing math activities? Do you use manipulatives in math class? Physical math activities are for students to get up and out of their seat to get their blood flowing to their brains and interact with math in a different way of exploring. Here are some ways you can do that with your students. Going outside for a math activity, doing an indoor gallery walk activity around your classroom, or maybe even have an interactive number line on the floor or do a whiteboard activity with the students. Writing activities can be hands-on and exploratory. Students need to make sense of the math concept and put together a puzzle. Card sorts are a great hands-on activity that gets students to think about the math concept and put together the cards in a way that makes the most sense for them to solve the problem. Manipulatives are a great tool. Teaching with manipulatives helps students develop understanding of math concepts. Some manipulatives you can use are chips or counters, base 10 blocks, pattern blocks, algebra tiles, number lines, rulers, protractors, dice, and so on. You don't need to spend a ton of money on manipulatives. Just find the ones that make the most difference in helping your students achieve math mastery. When teaching with hands-on activities for the first time, you may have some questions about how it will run more smoothly. Here are some tips that have helped. Number one, have a schedule. Students love and need structure. Find activities that work for your students with a hands-on approach. I have a list of activities on pages 14 and 15 of your math mastery notes. There's a link to the notes in this video's description to grab. Number two, be flexible. Hands-on math activities are meant to be exploratory. You will need to be flexible in your approach. Not every student will have the exact same reaction to the activity. Be ready for students to learn and react differently to the activity. Number three, reinforce effort. The best advice for anyone using hands-on exploratory activities is to be encouraging and to reinforce student effort. This will result in a 29% learning gain for the student. Be positive and support the students through their hands-on activities. There is a solution to the problem of how to teach hands-on. Try teaching with hands-on activities that are the right resources. Choose which is best for your class. Use physical, writing, or manipulative activities. You can plan for a deeper level of understanding of mathematics for your students. Teaching hands-on doesn't have to be difficult when you have the right resources. Here are the top three resources for teaching hands-on activities. Number one, math card sorts, where students have to match up cor corresponding cards to solve a problem. Number two, math number line for physical activities to show students or have students demonstrate number sense. Number three, pattern block task cards for using geometry and problem solving skills to think about problems differently. 
Links to all of these resources are in the description of this video. For more information about the Math Mastery video series, be sure to check out the description. You can grab the notes and resources mentioned in this video. The link to get the notes and resources are in the description. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, Teaching Math and More. See you next time for part three of the Math Mastery series.